Good afternoon, dear students. Uh, today, uh, we will start a new topic called areas of parallelogram and triangles. So, you know, before I proceed further, I just like to confirm that you are able to hear my voice very clearly and able to uh, view the screen properly, dear students. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay, great. Thanks for the confirmation. Okay. So first, we need to know that what is a planar region, okay? You know, the part of the plane enclosed by a simple closed figure is called a planar region. So if I uh, just uh, give you an example, think about, you know, this region, okay? You know, it is a part of the plane enclosed by simple closed figure, and that is what is called a planar region corresponding to the figure. Okay, now this, you know, the planar region has the magnitude or measure is, uh, you know, is called the area. So, what is area? Area is the magnitude or measure of the planar region occupied by the closed figure is called the area. The magnitude or measure is always expressed with the help of a number. For example, we can say 8 centimeter square or 12 meter square or 11 hectares. These are the, you know, units for area. Okay. If you look into this, you know, adjoining, uh, you know, um, you know, region, what I just drawn in the red color, okay, the shaded, uh, this region represent the, uh, you know, uh, represent, uh, 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 you know, planar region, okay, and it area can be determined by means by the simple geometrical results, okay, how, for example, if we need to find the area of this, you know, uh, you know, planar region, what you can do is that, uh, we can divide this region into, uh, you know, two triangles. So how we can make it to two triangles? Suppose uh, I draw a line from this to this. Then we get two triangles, dear students. One is this triangle and the other one is that. Uh, one is this triangle and the other one is this triangle. So add or add area of these two triangles and you get the area of this planar region. So now, what you need to know the fundamentals and if we recap the area of you know some of the known planar region right rectangle square a rhombus parallelogram triangle and trapezium that i just want to just make a quick review that you you are already aware from your previous classes but i would like to just make a you know a quick um, you know um, a review so what is meant by that, that, you know, area of, I'm just writing here, area of So I'm just going to write one by one. The first one I'm going to write area of a rectangle. So if you remember the area of a rectangle is what? It is quite simple. It is a length into breadth. Length into breadth. I hope all of you are aware of the area of a rectangle. Next one is coming, that area of a square. So, so square is a special type of rectangle. So what we can say is that it is one of the side you take and make a square of it then you find the area of the square. The next one is coming is that, you know, 
the rhombus who can say the area of rhombus is it like half d1 into d2 correct half into the product of the diagonals diagonals yes so this is equal to up into product of the diagonals then it comes the area of a parallelogram who can say the area of a parallelogram so it's base, base into height yeah correct parallelogram as you correctly said that is equal to base into height okay now uh, the next one uh, is um, area of a triangle and area of a trapezium so let me do it to the uh, you know next page next uh, you know line what i can do is that area of triangle who can say area of a triangle dear students Half, half into, into base into height. Correct. So there are two, uh, you know, uh, um, versions I can tell. That is equal to. It is equal to half into the area of the parallelogram generated from it. That also you can say. From the triangle, you can generate a parallelogram. Okay. Uh, how? So let me quickly so, ask you. What about the Heron's formula? Oh, that also you can apply. Absolutely, you can apply Heron's formula. Yes, there are multiple versions. And in fact, uh, you, you know, um, if there is a special type of triangles like isosceles triangle or equilateral triangle, then there are some uh, more, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, more formulas for related to specific to those triangles. But in general, what you can say is that the area of a triangle is equal to half of the area of the parallelogram generated from it hop into the area of the parallelogram area of the parallelogram generated from it generated from it you may be thinking that sir uh, how you can generate a parallelogram from a triangle so let me show you how you can do it and um, for that let me use a different color a blue color so suppose this is a triangle okay now uh, we can generate a parallelogram something like this let me use the green color so If you look into it, that and if I name it, our original uh, triangle was ABC. Correct. ABC was the triangle under consideration, and we generate a parallelogram ABCD. How? We made the same base. Base of the triangle and base of the parallelogram remains same. That is BC, and the BA one side of the triangle. Is actually made uh, parallel to it the CD, and then join AD. Then we get ABCD is the parallelogram, and we know we just learned 
actually not just learned, we are aware of it, we just recap it, that area of the parallelogram is equal to base into height. So in the other way, we can say the area of the parallelogram is equal to half into base into height. Correct? Some of you already told that half into base into height. Now, the next one that what we are going to discuss is that what is the area of a trapezium? Who can say what is the area of a trapezium? Half A plus B into H. So, then you need to me what is uh, A plus B? Okay, what that's like B? the um, parallel side. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. So let me first write it down, trapezium. And I hope all of you understood uh, what uh, C wanted to mean by it. So that is equal to half into sum of the parallel sides, sum of the parallel sides okay, into the distance between parallel sides distance between the parallel sides okay i hope all of you understood it what is meant by uh, you know that uh, some of the parallel sides and distance between the parallel sides dear students or shall i explain no, sir. Understood, sir. Okay. Understood, sir. Okay, great. So, why I discussed all these, uh, you know, topics now? Because whatever we are going to discuss, that area of the parallelogram and triangles, so all this information you should have, you know, ready-made by your side, so that you can apply these formulas as and when required. So, uh, I repeat, all of you, all of you are aware of all these formulas from your previous classes. I just make a recap. Now, the first point what we are going to discuss is actually it's called the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the figures on the same base and between the same parallels. It is a new topic. Let me uh, take you to the next page and explain you what is meant by the figures on the same side, or oh, sorry, figures on the same base and between the same parallels. So, to discuss on this, first I would like to give you some examples. Because if I give you the example, so that makes your idea more clear. First, look into, uh, you know, these uh, figures. If you look into the figure 1, if you look into the figure 1, what is figure 1? In the figure 1, we see that there is a trapezium, which is ABCD, and there is a parallelogram, that is EFCD. And both this trapezium and parallelogram has a common side, DC. I hope you notice this thing, the DC is the common side for both this trapezium ABCD and the uh, parallelogram EFCD. Now look into the, you know, figure 2. If you look into the figure 2, similarly, you will see there are two parallelograms here. One is PQRS and another one is that MNRS. Now both these parallelograms, PQRS and MNRS, are on the same base that is SR as you notice. If you look into the figure 3, there are two triangles. One is ABC and another one is DBC. And if you notice dear students that both these triangles are having the same base BC, correct? And look into the figure 4 that there is a, a parallelogram which is ABCD and there is a triangle 
that is PCD and both are on the same base DC. So dear students with all these four figures what I wanted to show you that you know what is mean by that figures on the same base. Now I am going to discuss you that what are the figures on the same base and between the same parallels. So, so far what I describe you that figures on the same base. Now I am going to add the next part that is and between the same parallels. So what is those figures? So let me bring some figures and let me explain you for the what is meant by the same base and in the same parallels. So I just going to uh, I'm just going to bring this uh, in another uh, few seconds. Yes, dear students, here it is. If you look into this, uh, you know, figures very minutely, dear students. You know, let's look into the figure one. If you look into the figure one, you see the trapezium ABCD and the parallelogram EFCD are on the same base DC that we just learned also in few minutes back. In addition that they are on the same base DC, that in addition to this statement, we see the vertex A and B of the trapezium ABCD, which is opposite to the base DC and the vertices and the vertices E and F of the parallelogram EFCD opposite to the base DC lie on the same line AF parallel to DC. Correct? If you notice, just concentrate on the figure 1, dear students. What I see is that there are two, uh, you know, figures you see here. One is the trapezium ABCD. I am just telling you to concentrate here. ABCD is the trapezium, that is ABCD trapezium, and there is a parallelogram that is EFCD. Now both these trapezium and parallelogram are on the same base that is a DC. In addition to that they are in the same base DC, we see the vertices A and B of the trapezium ABCD which is opposite to the base DC and the vertices E and F of the parallelogram EFCD which is again opposite to the base DC lie on the line AF. Both these vertices ABCD both this pair of vertices I can say ABCD of the trapezium and EF of the parallelogram lie on the same line AF and that line AF is parallel to DC and that is what is known as the you know the concept of you know figures on the same base and between the same parallels. So what I wanted to mean now I complete that AND part between the same parallels. If you look into this diagram, dear students, okay, or this diagram, this diagram, all these figures, okay, they are on the same base but not on the same parallels, okay, okay, they are in the same base, same base, okay, but in this figure, what we say is what we observe is that they are in the same base and between the same parallels same base plus between the same parallels between the same parallels so i just explained you uh, one one figure that is the figure 1 now let's move to the next figure that is the figure, this figure, okay. What you uh, observe, dear students, here, there are, uh, here we, we see there are two, uh, you know, parallelograms. Okay, what are the two parallelograms here? Um, you know, <coughs> uh, PQRS and uh, MNRS, okay. So PQRS and MNRS are on the same base SR and between the same parallels PN and SR. Correct? Why so? As the vertices P and Q of PQRS and vertices 
m and n of m n r s lie on a line m p n which is parallel to the you know same base that is s r i hope this is absolutely clear dear students any doubt here so far between the two figures any questions so far dear students absolutely uh, clear sir sir so they have to lie on the same line for it to be same, exactly. same line correct as we just observed in the uh, first example that first figure where we observed that the you know in the trapezium abcd and the parallelogram efcd you know that ab the vertices ab and the of the trapezium and the vertices ef of the parallelogram are on the same line af not only that that line af is parallel to dc yes. and that is why we say the trapezium abcd and the parallelogram efcd are on the same base dc and between the same parallels af and dc what are the parallels parallels means there should be two straight lines line segment so between the two parallels means it is af and dc okay so okay. okay now in the second case second figure if you notice okay what we see is that there are two parallelograms one is pqrs and another one is at mnrs now both these parallelograms are on the same base sr and between the same parallels what are the two parallels here parallels means two line segment one is pn and one is sr now pn and sr are parallel to each other that is why they are known as the between the same parallels pn and sr why we are saying so because the vertices p and q of the parallelogram pqrs and the vertices m and n of the parallelogram m n r s are on a line p n and that p n parallel to s r absolutely clear dear students for the second figure yes sir okay now let's move to the third one if you look into the third figure what you notice dear students we see there is a parallelogram a b c d and uh, i'm sorry there is uh, let's look into the figure a b c d uh, just a minute let me let me go to the uh, third one okay as you see um, mm, yeah the if you look into the you know triangle abc in the figure 3 there are two triangles one is abc and another one is that dbc what we see is that both the triangle both these triangles are on the same base bc and between the same parallels ad and bc ad and bc i hope you got it dear students this one this figure i am talking about here yeah, there are two triangles one is abc and another one is a dbc both these triangles abc and dbc are on the same base bc and they are the vertices a and d if you can join a and d you will get a straight line that is ad and that ad is parallel to bc please note that if the vertices if you are joining that ad is not parallel to bc then we cannot say they are in the same base and same parallels we will see some figures later where they are in the same base but not in the same parallels in fact you can look into this particular one let me use a different color this third figure here i marked in the green you see here two triangles one is abc and another one is the dbc but they are they are on the same base bc but they are not on the same parallels why you know because the moment you join a and d what you get ad is not parallel to bc so in this figure okay we cannot say that abc and dbc are on the same base and same parallel they are on the same base but they are not on the between the same parallels got it did you get my point dear students what i wanted to mean absolutely clear yes sir yes sir okay now in the similar manner if you look into the you know figure 4 of the next uh, you know next uh, you, set of figures what i did uh, this figure 4 this one if you look into this figure 4 what we see is that there are uh, Uh, you know two figures one is a parallelogram that is abcd and there is a triangle that is pcd 
Now, they are in the same base DC, no doubt about it. Now, how come we know they are between the same parallels? Because if you join the vertices A and B of the parallelogram and that line segment, if you join with the vertex P of the triangle, then you get what? Then you get a line segment AP and that AP is parallel to DC. As AP is parallel to DC, so we can definitely say that both the parallelograms, that is ABCD and the triangles PCD are on the same base DC and between the same parallels AP and DC. I hope it is absolutely clear what is now meant by the figures on the same base and between the same parallels. You may think, sir, why you are discussing all these things? We are discussing all these things to, you know, uh, come up with some interesting results and you can apply those results to solve problems and solve practical problems in geometry. Okay. So to, to discuss that, first we have a very clear idea about that what is meant by the figures on the same base and between the same parallels. So now let me come with a come up with a very formal definition as you understood by means of these diagrams and figures. So two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same parallels if they have a common base and the vertices opposite to the common base of each figure lie on a line parallel to the base. Let me write down this statement, dear students, and I hope you will have you will understand absolutely very clearly what is meant by that because we discussed in details with this, you know, diagram figures. So I repeat once more. So what is meant by that, dear students? So two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same parallels if they have a common base, that is a side and the vertices or vertex that depends on what kind of figure it is okay opposite to the common base of each figure lie on a line parallel to the base why i said it is a vertices or vertex if it is a trapezium or parallelogram then it will be vertices but if it is a triangle then it will be vertex because apart from the base there is only one vertex left for a triangle but for parallelogram there are two hence it is vertices so I repeat for the last time, two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same parallels if they have a common base and vertices or vertex opposite to the common base of each figure lie on a line parallel to the base. Correct dear students, so this actually mean by that what is what I wanted to mean by the same base and between the same parallels. Now. Let us look into some, uh, you know, diagram, okay, and figures. So where uh, they are not, um, you know, um, it doesn't uh, qualify to be in the uh, in the same base and between the same parallels. So let me uh, show you, you know, such diagram so that we can understand when, you know, what are the situations where uh, these conditions of the same base and between the same parallels are actually getting violated. Look into the first diagram, dear students. Okay, what we see, there are two triangles. That is, um, you know, PQR and DQR. They are on the same base, that is QR, no doubt about it. They are in the same base, QR. Okay, but we cannot say that they are in the, you know, between the same parallels. Okay. Why? Because if you join, as I was telling in the one of the previous example, if you join these two vertices P and D, we get a line PD and you see dear students that PD line segment is not parallel to QR. This is one explanation and another explanation is that if I do not take this explanation, another explanation is that we have the triangle PQR. Now, through the point P, that is through the vertex P of the triangle PQR, we draw a line 
which is parallel to QR. And that line, what you see is that L, the point D, that is the vertex D of the other triangle DQR, that, that vertex is not on that line, which is passing through the point P or vertex P and parallel to QR. As that vertex D of the triangle, you know, DQR is not passing through the line parallel to QR and passing through P, we cannot say these two triangles PQR and DQR on the same base and between the same parallels. I hope it is absolutely clear both the explanation you got. Now look into the second figure. In the second figure you see dear students, there are two parallelograms. One is EFGH and the other one is that MNGH. Both these parallelograms EFGH and MNGH are on the same base. Okay, correct? Correct? Now, yes, sir. <laughs> now, if you look into the uh, the parallelograms EFGH and MNGH lie between the same parallels EF and GH. Correct? Same parallels EF and GH. Correct? And if you look into the next one, the parallelogram ABCD and the parallelogram EFCD, okay, they are between the parallels AB and DC, even though they have a common base DC. They have a common base DC, right? Correct? Did you get my point what I'm talking about, dear students? Oh, yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, it should be clearly be noted that out of the two parallels, one must be the line containing the common base. Note that if you look into the, you know, uh, if I if I give you uh, another uh, example, okay, uh, for example, if you uh, look into uh, this particular one, just a minute, let me bring this one. If you look into this particular figure, this particular figure, dear students, we cannot say, you know, they are in the same base because of the triangle. If you look into the triangle ABC, okay, and the triangle DBE, they are not on the uh, common base, okay, um, because the base has to be exactly same, correct, and uh, similarly. If I can, uh, if, if I if I show you the another diagram like this, let me bring this diagram. If you look into um, this diagram, dear students, you know what I just placed. Okay, that ABC. Okay, the triangle ABC and parallelogram. PQRS, okay, are also not on the same base because for the triangle ABC, the base is BC and for the triangle, uh, for the parallelogram PQRS, the base is PS, you know, on the side of BC. But BC is not exactly equal to PS, hence we cannot say they are on the same base. So, dear students, so far what I did is, uh, you know, I give examples uh, you know, of what is meant by same base, what is meant by same base and between the same parallels, and also some counter examples which doesn't qualify to be called the figures with the same base and between the same parallels. I hope um, it is absolutely clear. Any doubt, uh, please do let me know. If there is no doubt, then I would like to proceed to the next topic that is called the parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels. So may I proceed dear students, if you approve me, is it absolutely clear?
whatever i discussed yes. so far yes sir yes sir great so the next uh, topic what i'm going to discuss is called the parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels what is meant by that so we are to be specific here the two figures are both are parallelograms and they are on the same base and between the same parallels and what is meant by that let me first you know explain you by means of a you know <clears throat> diagram okay dear students so um, what is mean by the a proper example of you know parallelograms with the same base and between the uh, same parallels okay so for that i would like to bring uh, this uh, this diagram in front of you the diagram you will be able to uh, view in another few seconds from now and here it is <clears throat> if you look into um, uh, you know this uh, this uh, figure there are two parallelograms one is abcd and another one is that efcd and you see dear students from your understanding you can definitely say that these two parallelograms abcd and efcd are on the same base that is that is dc and between the same parallels af and dc now we are going to discuss about a very important theorem regarding the areas of these two parallelograms you know we see that the parallelograms abcd and the other parallelogram efcd are on the same base dc and between the same parallels af and dc hence we can say the area of these two parallelograms are same so what is the theorem theorem is that parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area very important theorem so let me write it down here theorem number 1 and what is that that parallelograms on the same base parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels and between the same parallels let me write properly are equal in area dear students uh, is the theorem uh, statement of the theorem clear to you if it is clear then i can proceed for Uh, towards proving it would you please confirm the statement yes, yes, yes. you understood the intent of it let yes, me tell you once more in this uh, you know adjoining figure what we see there are two parallelograms abcd and efcd and we see both these parallelograms are on the same base dc and between the same parallels af and dc hence we can say that that uh, according to the theorem the area of the parallelogram abcd is equal to the area of the parallelogram efcd and we are going to prove it so what we need to prove we need to prove that that area of the parallelogram abcd is equal to the area of the you know uh, parallel uh, you know uh, parallelogram efcd so let me write it down what you need to prove we need to prove something like this and to prove it dear students um, you know what i am going to do is that i am going to take two triangles here dear students one triangle is ade and the other triangle is bcf okay so if i take two triangles i repeat dear students 
one is A D E and the other one is B C F. If you look into these two triangles very quick, you know, you know, minutely, you will notice that that the angle D A E is equal to the angle C B F. Why? Because corresponding angles from AD parallel to BC and transversal is AF. Am I right, dear students? Do you agree to me? Sir, can yes, you repeat sir. it once more, sir? Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Definitely, I'll repeat. At the same time, I'll request you to please focus what, uh, whatever exactly I'm saying. Is that we are taking two triangles. One triangle is that ADE and the other triangle is BCF. And between these two triangles, what I'm saying is that that angle DAE is equal to the angle CBF. Uh, what I'm saying is that, do you agree to me about this statement that angle DAE is equal to angle CBF? Yes, sir. Why? Because the, their corresponding angles form AD parallel to, uh, you know, BC because there is a parallelogram ABCD and yeah. AP is the transversal. In the similar manner, we can say the angle AED is equal to the angle BFC. Correct, dear students? So let me write it down. And you no need to compromise with your learning, dear students, unless you are absolutely confirmed, never hesitate to raise your question. I will explain unless and until you clearly understood exactly, yes, these two statements I completely understood. Correct, dear students? Got it? Yes, sir. Okay. So what we observed is that these two are the uh, information we understood. So as we are able to prove these two pair of angles are equal to each other, then what we can say? We can say the angle ADE is equal to angle BCF. Correct or not? Why? Because the angle, some property of a triangle, if the two uh, you know pairs are equal, then third pair has to be equal. No? Correct or not? Because the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Do you agree to me, dear students, what I wanted to mean? All of you are able to view the screen properly, right? Please yes, confirm sir. that you are able yes, to view yes, the screen sir. properly. Okay. So what I'm saying is that as we found these two statements very clear, prove able to observe these two statements. So we can say that ADE, the third angle, should also be the third angle of the second triangle. No? Angle DAE is equal to angle CBF this angle this angle is equal to this angle this angle is equal to this angle correct then obviously this angle has to be equal to this angle no? from the angle some yes, property sir. Correct? Yes, sir. correct yes sir great now look into this uh, two triangles very minutely what we can say is that ad is equal to bc what is AD? That is equal to BC, na? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct or not? So, we see that AD is equal to BC. How we can say? The opposite sides of the parallelograms ABCD, they are opposite sides of the parallelogram ABCD, hence they are equal. Correct, dear students? You see the slowly the way I am actually coming towards the proof. So these are the different, uh, you know, uh, statements I have, uh, you know, uh, come across so far. Now, we have sufficient information to conclude that the triangle ADE is congruent to the triangle BCF. And can I ask you by which rule we are able to conclude? ASA. ASA. Fantastic. By means of? the statement one, statement three, and statement four. All of you agree to me, dear students? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, great. So now, 
what we see is that dear students we observe that let me make it a full screen yeah so we are able to uh, prove that these two triangles that ade and bcf are congruent to each other ade and bcf are congruent to each other as they are congruent to each other definitely their area should be equal obviously that's what we know about the congruent figures correct or not yes sir so what we can say that the area of ad area of the triangle ade is equal to area of the triangle bcf as i just said the congruent figures are having equal areas correct dear students absolutely clear yes, all of you to me now look into the you know parallelogram abcd if you look into the parallelogram abcd you will find it is nothing but the summation of the area of the triangle ade and the area of edcb correct or not correct yes sir area of that uh, edcb so what we can able to see is that you know able to view the screen properly dear students yes yeah, sir so what we see is that area of the triangle ab uh, sorry area of the parallelogram abcd is nothing but sum of the area of the triangle ade and area of the uh, you know uh, quadrilateral edcb now as we just found the area of the triangle ade is equal to area of the triangle bcf so we can write area of bcf plus area of edcb now if we add area of the triangle bcf and area of the you know quadrilateral uh, you know uh, that is uh, edcb uh, you get nothing but the parallelogram that is efcd and hence we are able to prove that area of the triangle abcd is equal to the area of the area of the parallelogram abcd is equal to the area of the parallelogram efcd is it absolutely clear dear students or any smallest doubt you have no sir no sir absolutely clear dear students yes sir okay yes sir okay so uh, you know uh, sometime this proof uh, come in the exam okay and you should uh, very minutely uh, you know look into the proof once the class is done i will share that video lectures of our recorded session so you can again go through it so what the first theorem we are able to prove is that parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area now dear students what i am going to discuss is that uh, I, i want to discuss one example okay <clears throat> so uh, just to illustrate that uh, you know whatever we have learned uh, very clearly okay <coughs> so let me first um, uh, you know let me uh, just uh, take you to the next uh, uh, page and let me first uh, bring this uh, you know figure dear students please look into this figure very carefully okay in this figure abcd is a parallelogram abcd is a parallelogram and if you see that efcd is a rectangle okay also al is perpendicular to dc these three information are given to you what are the three information dear students the first one is that abcd is a parallelogram efcd is a rectangle and that line al is perpendicular to dc and what we need to prove we need to prove that the area of the parallelogram abcd 
is equal to area of the rectangle EFCD. And also the second one is that area of that parallelogram ABCD is equal to DC into AL. Okay, so what we see dear students, so let me write it down. ABCD is a parallelogram. So ABCD, this is given. ABCD is a parallelogram. And second information is given is that EFCD is a rectangle. And that AL is perpendicular to DC. So what you need to prove? You need to prove that. Prove that. The first one, area of ABCD area of ABCD is equal to area of EFCD. Number one. And number two proof what you need to do is that area of area of ABCD is equal to DC into AL. So, <clears throat> so, but in the second one, like what is there to prove? Like ABCD is a parallelogram, so it will become base into height, right? Yeah, we need to prove it. That is the question. Like we have to prove that base into height is the is the area of a parallelogram. Yes, yes, we need to okay. in context okay. with this question. Okay. Now, the first proof is very easy. Why you know? Because we know the rectangle is also a parallelogram, no? correct, dear students? Yes, sir. So we yes. see that EFCD is a rectangle, but we can say it is also a parallelogram. So what we see is that ABCD is a parallelogram, EFCD is a parallelogram, both are on the same base DC and between the same parallels. EB and DC. Hence, the area of these two parallelograms, ABCD and EFCD are equal. Now, we convert that parallelogram to triangle, you know, by rectangle. Correct or not? All of you get it, dear students? Yes, sir. So, the first proof is very simple. So, let me use a different color to prove it. So we know, sorry, let me write properly. We know a rectangle is a parallelogram. So the parallelograms. A, B, C, D and E, F, C, D are on the same base D, C and between the same parallels Sorry. Between the same parallels, DC and EB. So from here, what we can conclude? So sure. just the theorem, what we, uh, you know, learned and proved together that the parallelograms, which are on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in areas. 
so you can prove that area of ABCD is equal to area of EFCD. All of you agree to me, dear students? Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, <clears throat> um, so this is uh, proved. Proved the first part. Now, <clears throat> just a minute let me write it down very clearly so this is equal now tell me what is efcd area of efcd now efcd is also a rectangle as it is a rectangle so what will be its area its area should be dc into al correct or not what do you know the area of a rectangle the length into breadth, correct yes. or not? Yes. What is the length? Length is DC. And what is the breadth? Breadth is CF that is equal to AL. Yes, sir. Correct. And we are able to prove so we can write this thing. So, in fact, in a more elaborative manner, I can write. So, this implies area of ABCD is equal to that is uh, you know uh, that area of uh, the rectangle efcd is dc that is length and breadth is that fc and fc is equal to al correct or we can say uh, the other way we can say that is equal to dc into al Correct? Yes, sir. Clear or not clear? So that is also proved. So both the things we are able to prove now, the first and second. Hmm? Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So what I wanted to mean is that that as we found that area of the parallelogram ABCD is equal to area of the rectangle EFCD, so that is equal to DC into FC now. But AL is parallel to uh, DC, A, sorry, AL is perpendicular to DC. So definitely AL should be equal to FC. Hence, we can say that ABCD is area of that uh, parallelogram ABCD is equal to DC into AL. That is a more, more, more elaborative way of explaining. Correct, dear students. So, uh, these are the important, uh, you know, uh, observations. And these observations are actually extremely important to, uh, you know, make our discussion, uh, you know, uh, to make our further discussion. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, you know, uh, uh, what I will uh, tell you, the, the next uh, next question I'm going to discuss with you, dear students, and that I take you to the next, uh, you know, uh, page of my digital book. So this is uh, first example. Okay, now let me take you to the next one. Okay. So the example here is that <clears throat> um, the statement I'm going to make it and then we will, uh, you know, we will prove it. Here is a statement. If a rectangle and a parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallels, then prove that the area of the rectangle is equal to half of the area of the parallelogram. Okay, dear students, so let me first write down the statement here. So what is the statement? Statement is that if a triangle and a parallelogram, if a triangle and a parallelogram
or on the same base or on the same base and between the same parallels and between the same parallels then prove that the area of the triangle then prove that the area of the triangle is equal to half the area of the parallelogram is equal to of the area of the parallelogram let us prove it together okay dear students so for that first i need to you know bring our diagram or figure describing this you know problem statement so let us look into this uh, you know diagram dear students if you look into this that there are the triangles the triangle a b p and the parallelogram a b c d so the triangle under consideration is a b p and the parallelogram under consideration is a b c d so a b P, when you consider the triangle and a b c d when you consider the parallelogram okay and both these triangles and the parallelogram are on the same base a b and between the same parallels a b and p c correct so what we need to prove we are willing to prove that the area of the triangle PAB is equal to half of the area of the parallelogram ABCD. Okay. So we are going to prove, so to prove this thing. Okay. So to prove, let me write it down. To prove area of PAB is equal to area of a b c d the first one is a triangle and second one is a parallelogram now to prove that one we need to make a drawing so what is the drawing drawing is that we are drawing bq as you see here i can draw this thing in a different uh, uh sir yep um shouldn't uh, area of pa be equal to half of area of oh ah, i'm so sorry correct correct you are thanks for correcting me absolutely clear you are it is half of the area of this. Uh, yep, exactly. Let me correct it. Yes, thanks, Manishika, for correcting. So that is equal to half of area of the parallelogram ABCD. Now, to prove it, we need to make a drawing. What is the drawing, dear students? The drawing is that we need to um, draw BQ, which is parallel to AP. So that means this BQ, as you see, dear students, and it is parallel to AP. Now, um, we get one parallelogram that is ABQP. Now the parallelogram ABQP and ABCD are on the same base AB and between the same parallels AB and PC. Do you agree to me, dear students? Correct? So yes, what I just said, let me uh, write it down here and you please uh, visit that statement once more. And here it is. So we draw BQ and that BQ is parallel to AP. And as a result, we obtain another parallelogram that is ABQP. Now the parallelogram ABQP and the parallelogram ABCD 
are on the same base AB and between the same parallels AB and PC. Do you agree to meet here, students? So what we can conclude? All of you agree to me? Yes, sir. Okay. So what we can say? We can say area of the parallelogram ABQP is equal to area of the parallelogram ABCD because we just learned the theorem today that two parallelograms which are on the same base and between the same parallels are having equal areas. So what we get is that area of the parallelogram ABQP is equal to area of the you know parallelogram ABCD. Now from there what we can say is that the triangle PAB and triangle Q sorry triangle PAB PAB and the triangle BQP okay triangle PAB and the triangle B Q P these two triangles are congruent to each other why so because the diagonals PB divides the parallelogram ABQP into two congruent triangles okay so let me first write it down followed by let me explain it what I wanted to mean dear students here is that something like this <clears throat> You look into uh, you know the diagonal PB. If you look into the diagonal PB, that diagonal PB, I'm talking about this diagonal. This diagonal PB is dividing the parallelogram ABQP into two uh, equal um, uh, two congruent triangles. One one triangle is PAB, and the other triangle is BQP. Got it, no? All of you understood my statement, dear students? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So now, as these two triangles are congruent, definitely, definitely, we can say that their areas are equal. Okay. Correct or not? So, we can say that area of the triangle PAB is equal to the area of the triangle BQP. Now, what is the area of the triangle PAB? Area of the triangle PAB is nothing but half of the area of the parallelogram ABQP. Correct or not? Why? Because area of the triangle BQP should be equal to the half of the area of the parallelogram ABQP because both the triangles BQP and the parallelograms ABQP are on the same base and between the same parallels. All of you agree to me, dear students? See the logical conclusion I am yes, drawing sir. one by one, right? Yes, sir. I repeat once more. If you look into the you know, uh, triangle BQP, the triangle BQP <coughs> Okay, and 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 the triangle, uh, you know, uh, ABQP. Okay, so that is area of the triangle BQP is equal to the half of the area of the triangle, uh, you know, um, ABQP. Correct, because um, we know the area of the triangle BQP is equal to that of the area of the triangle PAB which is uh, nothing but half of the area of the par parallelogram ABQP. Now, area of the parallelogram ABQP is equal to area of the, uh, you know, parallelogram ABCD. Correct or not? Hello, dear students. Do you get my, yes. you get my yes. point? Hence, yes. Yes, hence, we are able to prove it. Please do let me know that anything is not clear to you. All of you understood this thing, dear students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Very good. So, um, uh, 